I'm Dwayne Ross of Servants United Parish. I will be leading daily devotions with you. The basis for these daily devotions is from Christ in Her Home, a daily devotional series. The Bible readings are from the Revised Standard Version. For Monday, December 25th, Christmas Day, our scripture is found in the second chapter of the Gospel of Luke, verses 1 through 20. In those days, a decree went out from, the, from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration that was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. <clears throat> all went to their own towns to be registered. Jesus also went from the town of Nazareth to Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. In that region there were shepherds live, living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find him fi a child wrapped in bands of cloth lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. When the angels had left them and gone into the heavens, the shepherds came, said to one another, Let us go down to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, as it had been told them. <clears throat> Christmas Day I am bringing you the good news of great joy for all the people. Nearly no one knew the world was changing. According to Luke, though, the angels knew what God was doing. And they had to share that good news. First one angel, and then many, appeared to shepherds outside Bethlehem and announced, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior who is Messiah, the Lord. Though the baby, though, through the baby in a manger, God was taking on human flesh and entering human history. Through Jesus, the Almighty would defeat the power of sin and death. The great grace and love of the divine would be revealed. <clears throat> this was good news. The shepherds could not help but go to this child and then to tell others the good news. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen. May the good news of Jesus' birth fill you with joy and lead you to glorify God this Christmas day. Glory to you, God, for the gift of Jesus, our Savior, in whose name we pray. Amen. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory 
forever and ever. Amen.